Hello, we're back with the next project in our paper pack, holiday paper pack challenge. And this is going to be a kind of a rectangular milk carton. And um, so what we're gonna do is turn our paper over. All right, let's make a point to tell you this because I've, I've messed up on a, a project and I don't wanna do that again. Um, because we know that we want the paper to go like this and we want this to be our bottom, what we're gonna do is turn the paper so that the bottom of our paper is on the left um, side of the uh, scoreboard over here. And we're gonna score one and a half. So we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna score nine and 11 and a quarter. And I'm gonna flip it over and scored it one and a half, five and a half, seven, and 11. And that's our score lines. Now we will, let's go ahead and just fold in our lines. So I made this a rectangular shape because I wanted to be able to, I wanted a more surface area on the front so you could see the pattern because the snowmen are so cute. Okay, so this is what we have. This bottom corner, which is smaller than this side over here, we're gonna cut this off. This is the only part that we need to cut off. All right, so we have things like that. Now what we're gonna do is on the bottom, we're going to cut our score lines apart and I'm going to notch them out just a little bit so which means I'm just cutting in at an angle on both sides of that score line when we fold in our flaps down at the bottom that just prevents things from getting too bulky and um, it goes together a little bit better what we're going to do is put adhesive on this strip right here I'm going to use some This side, we're gonna fold this side over and everything should match up. All right, just like that. Now, because we have um, this edge where we've met everything up, we're gonna say that's towards the back. So we're gonna put our box like this. These are the side flaps we'll fold them in this is the back we're gonna that's the bottom now we'll come up here to the top and give it kind of a you're gonna take your index fingers and just kind of squeeze in on the top and everything will meet up together if you squeeze these corners will come together these corners should come together and then if you need to take your finger in here and kind of press in, you can do that. You can put your hand on the inside and kind of push out on, um, there's a score line right here where things kind of um, start to go inward. And this one is not wanting to um, go. So if you press that in, oh, now it's, now it's going. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is how, let's see the measurements. And when you line things up, if they don't line up exactly, you know, they're homemade. Sometimes I will take um, like a piece of, well, maybe like a glitter paper and I'll put a trim around the top or something like that. I'm not sure how I'm going to embellish this, but um, in the end you'll see all the projects finished and I'll let you know what I do. So this is four inches wide. Um, I'm sorry, I guess, yeah, four inches wide. It's an uh, inch and a half deep, and then it's going to be about 10 inches tall, but you have truly about um, seven and a half to eight inches of room up in through here. So it's a pretty good size, lots of treats in there. Um, okay, that's the project for now. We'll see you next time.
Okay, I'm back real quick. I wanted to show you how I just finished out, simply finished out this box. I took a piece of green glitter paper. It is um, four inches by one and a quarter inches. I scored it in the middle, which is um, at five eighths of an inch. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere that piece to the back of our box. I did round the corners. And I'm going to try to do that evenly. Let's see here. I'm going to line that up. I'm going to stick that on there. And then I'm going to fold it over so that kind of finishes at the top. And I'll make some kind of sentiment to go on there. I'm going to do all my greetings and my sentiments at the end. Um, but this is a nice way I can permanently adhere this um, after I decide what gifts I want to put in it or I can do some kind of um, ribbon or something like that. So that's how I finished it out. We'll see you next time.